Hey guys, X Crayol is here, aka Crayola Classic, and today I'm just gonna be doing a simple tutorial on Photoshop that I learned around not so long ago. This paper texture and Photoshop is pretty cool. Everyone uses it, so I'm just gonna pass pass it down to people who don't. So this is what you wanna do. Um, yeah, don't worry. They see this up here. I'll have this for download in the description. This is, I think this is the only things you need. So first thing you want to do, you want to have a pretty tannish color. You're gonna go um between orange and red and grayish and orangish right here. Go right in the middle right there. Gives you a good tannish color. Then you want to go to then you want to go to your um first you want to go to your wrinkled notebook paper. Open up your text tool. Write it. Wait. Write whatever you want. So I want to write X. Crayolas. I use that for almost everything. Uh, yeah, yeah. Command T it. Move over, move it down there. Yeah, that's good. Apply that. And then your magic wand tool, you want to hold shift and click on every single letter. And after that, you want to go to select. Now you want to go to select, modify, expand. For right now, in my situation, I always use 25 pixels. You can use as much as you want. It just looks best if, if it's like tight together and close together. So I'm just gonna use 25. It looks pretty nice. So after that, I after that I hold Shift and click on your background, and then you want to um. Then you want to go to Command E. And then after that, you want to uh, Command, I believe it's Command C. And then Command X. And then after that, you want to go back to your tan um, background. Oh, yeah, j uh, just to remind you, I'm not doing a background. This is like, like wallpaper. I'm not doing a YouTube background, which I usually do. So after that, I want to Command V it. And then command T it, move it around, like mess with it. So I'm just gonna put it like slant ways, kind of. Put it right there. It's not gonna be a very good one. It's just gonna be, it's just gonna be a good one for now. After that, um, you wanna go back to your no. After that, you're gonna go to your um Barrett sniper render. You wanna command A, command C. And then after that, you want to um, just go back to your little notebook paper, close it, don't save it, file, open, and then go back to your, then go back to your little notebook paper, should be, should be good as new. Then you want to command V it, and then command T, make it smaller. To your desire, don't really matter. Yeah, and after that, make it smaller, too big. After that, you want to go instead of choosing. All right, apply it. Instead of choosing the person, shift choosing him, it'll give you like that, and that looks pretty sloppy. So, this is what you want to do. You want to go, you just want to click on the background. And then after that, it'll show you, it'll show you like an outline around the person. Then you want to go to select, inverse, and then go to um, select, modify, expand. By 25 pixels once again. Looks nah. Yeah, 25, 25. Then you want to go to um again shift, click on background, and then command E and then command C. I think I don't know what command C does, but I'm hoping it does something. And then go back to your um tannish color thing and then command V it. 
after that, basically, basically, um, retransform it. And hold on, hold on. I've got to make. I'm supposed to make a new one. Sorry. Where new it? Oh, sorry about that. Uh, okay. Go down. Where? Right here. All right. So once again, grab your mark keto tool, then make a little rectangle, rectangular thing, and then get your brush. We. I'm gonna lower the PSC about to like seventy-two percent. I think the tape is about to is supposed to be bigger, but I'll I'll just free transform it. Alright, so after that Alright, after that I'm just gonna bring it over. Sorry about the backgrounds, my friends are acting like dicks right now. Alright, so I can't um use that little scissors thing. You can do that if you want. I just not good with it. Never works out. So So basically, uh that ends my tutorial. Um yeah, I'm not gonna go further into detail. You can do whatever you want because you can add them you just keep on duplicating the the rectangles and keep on putting on the edges and stuff. And then that builds me up for the tutorial. So, peace out. This has been X Please sub and peace.